good evening let us begin our family devotion by singing the hymn through all the changing scenes of life <laughs> Verses 97 to 104. Oh, how I love your law! I meditate on it all day long. Your commands are always with me, and make me wiser than my enemies. I have more insight than all my teachers. for i meditate on your statutes i have more understanding than the elders for i obey your precepts i have kept my feet from every evil path so that i might obey your word i have not departed from your laws for you yourself have taught me How sweet are your words to my taste sweeter than honey to my mouth I gain understanding from your precepts therefore I hate every wrong path Good evening friends today we will meditate from the 99th verse of psalm 100 19 in this we read i have more insight than all my teachers for i meditate on your statutes for the last two days we were meditating about how this author is getting benefit by following the commandments of god in verse 97 we saw that he was meditating on the law of god every day by doing so in verse 98 there where we meditated uh, yesterday in that he says because i meditate on the word of god or 
because I am very sincere and knowing and following the commandments of God, he says, I am wiser than my enemies. I am wiser than my enemies. Because of that, he could do better in this world. In verse 99, in today's meditation, in this verse, he says, I have more insight than all my teachers. That means I am better than my teachers who taught me. When we talk about insight, this can be translated as vision, understanding, awareness, intuition, and also perception. This word can be translated in these many uh, ways. Mainly today we think about awareness or intuition. We always give importance to our wisdom. That is, when we go through a very difficult situation, suddenly we get some intuition. That is insight. Though we did not, we did not think about it, though we did not plan about it, suddenly it comes. Many times we praise God for this intuition. For this, this author, he is telling that he is very much having this intuition or his insight is better because he follow God's commands. In Proverbs chapter 21 verse 30 we read that there is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. We may have good intuition, insight. We may take decisions very quickly. Though we may do all these things, the Bible tells us that we have no wisdom or no insight which can succeed or which we can use against God. We cannot use all these wisdoms and other things against God at all. Daniel chapter 5 verse 14 we read, I have heard that the spirit of God is in you and that you have insight, intelligence and outstanding wisdom. See, here is a king who doesn't know anything about God. Anything about the God of Israel. Now, after speaking to Daniel, this man says, I have heard that the Spirit of God is in you, that you are so good, your wisdom is great, all that thing he says. Only God can give this kind of insight and wisdom. That is why in the New Testament we read when God was telling his disciples, when you stand in the council, when you do not know what to say, do not worry. The Holy Spirit will give the right answer. That's what the Bible promises. So, what we'll have to understand is that the insight, wisdom, everything comes from our God. By reading books, we may get knowledge. Our teachers may impart knowledge to us. But wisdom really comes from God. So, let us always think about God's wisdom. Let us commit our life to God and ask Him to bless us with good wisdom so that we can use this wisdom in the right manner. When we read Proverbs chapter 20 verse 5 that we read, the purposes of the person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight 
draws them out. From this we can understand the value or the need of the insight because there may be water in the deep, all cannot bring it out. Only those who have insight can bring it out. From this we can understand the importance. So let us ask God to bless us with such a wonderful insight so that in the days to come we can continue to do better which may bring blessing to our own family, to our society, to our church and also to God's name. God bless you. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this wonderful evening which you have given to us. From this evening, we thank you for this opportunity to come together in this manner to meditate upon your word. Lord, today we meditated about insight. It comes from you. We thank you for giving us this insight and also using us for your glory. Let your peace and joy be upon us. Lord, we thank you and praise you for taking control of the situation. The pandemic is coming down. Lord, the infection, infection rate is reduced. We ask you to have mercy upon us continuously. Remove this deadly virus from this world completely so that we can live in peace and harmony. We ask you to grant us good rest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you all. Good night.